once you've posted uh, all of your journal entries to your accounts, uh, it'll look like something like this. I've moved them over here so we can see better. So these are all the things that happen to cash. These are the debits and these are the credits. And now I need to add up all of my debits and all my credits. So here I'll just use a quick formula for that. And I'll just copy that formula over. And now I need to figure out what kind of balance I have. Now typically, if it's an asset, you'll have a debit balance. Okay? Very rarely will you not. So now it'll be simply this amount minus that amount. So the total debits minus the total credits. The receivables, I don't even have to. Okay, because my total is 1,000 debit. Supplies is 200 debit. Equipment, 2,000 debit. Van, 1,500 debit. Payables, I need to do the same. So I need to find the total here, which is easy. It's 1,000. But I'll copy that formula over here. Okay, now that formula should be sum of all of that. There you go. So now in payables, we're going to have a credit balance, which is also very typical. So it'll be equal this minus that. So now we have a credit balance in payables and, of course, a big credit balance in capital. So now I've added all of my accounts to find out what my net account number is for each account. Now what I need to do is figure out whether this balances or not. I need to make sure that my assets are still equal to my liabilities plus my owner's equity. So I take these totals and I put them into what's called a trial balance, which means let's try this to see if it still balances. So our, my bank account here is equal to whatever I've got there. My receivables is equal to whatever I've got there. My supplies is equal to whatever I've got there. Equipment is equal to that and my van is equal to that okay now I can add those numbers up and those are my total assets now let's do the same thing for credits starting with payables which would be equal to whatever I have there and now my capital is equal to whatever I've got there and again I'm going to copy that formula over I'm just going to unmerge this cell first of all then I'll copy this formula over, and there you go. So now my trial balance tells me that my debits and my credits are in balance. It's a really good sign that my journal entries that I performed here are correct. It doesn't mean that they're correct. My, th there might still be an error, okay? However, it's a good sign that at least I've got the same amount of debits as I have credits. And when I posted these amounts, to my accounts and then put the totals into a trial balance, everything's in balance. When using Simply Accounting, the step from your journal entries to here will be automatic. It's called just posting. And then you can, with a couple of clicks of the button, ask to see how your trial balance will look. You're going to do both in this course. You're going to do them manually using an Excel spreadsheet. You're also going to use Simply Accounting. For that lesson, see the Simply Accounting lesson that will also be on video.